Welcome everyone to Young at Heart, session number 75. And I'm Father James DeLucio with the Paulist Fathers, returning to our basement in front of this painting by James Vanderberg, donated to the Paulist Fathers to help spruce up our dreary basement. But I'm here for its excellent acoustics because I have two songs for you, two songs, two different sets of lyrics based on the same tune, a tune known as O Wally Wally, used for many hymns of all different kinds of lyrics in all English speaking churches. And at the same time, uh, both of the lyrics that I've chosen are reflections on love. The first is the folk song called The Water is Wide, first in print in 1906, although it is believed that the lyrics came a little earlier. Also in the, the tune itself may go back to 1600s, a Scottish tune that puts it very well within the arena of all the nursery rhymes that we've been sharing. You'll recognize it right away. Many different lyrics have been uh, placed upon this tune. As I said, they're both about reflections on love. The first is entitled, The Water is Wide. The second, When Love is Found. They both are very down to earth. They deal with the realities of love, its beauty and its challenges, but you will find one a little more hopeful than the other, but both are real. The first is inviting us to kind of really enter in to the beauty and pain of love. The second, that even this pain can bring a sense of gain and transcendence if we persevere. The first, the water is wide. The water is wide, I cannot cross her, and neither have I the wings to fly. Give me a boat that can carry two, and both shall ship there is, and it sails the seas. It's laden deep as deep can be, but not so deep as the love I'm in. I know not if I sink or swim. I leaned my back upon a young oak, thinking it were a trusty tree. But then it burned and then it broke, so did my love prove false to me. Oh, love is handsome and love is fine, bright as a fades away 
is found. When love is found and hope comes home, sing and be glad that two different impact they make, but both very real, part of the human condition. So interesting, when I first wanted to make my way in the world, first as an English teacher and then as an actor, I kept saying to my friends, well, why am I doing this? I want to explore the human condition. And of course, in faith, we're still exploring the human condition yet we're allowing the gifts of faith to give us a grounding. So we always have hope as we persevere, not with rose-colored glasses, but with the deep reality that we're never alone, that God is with us however we understand God. For us in Christ, we understand the literalness of Jesus walking with us, but all the great faiths have a sense of blessed assurance that we'll get through all things and we still need to take risks to love. It can be, it will be painful, but yet there are tremendous rewards if we trust and persevere. And so we bring session 75 to a conclusion. 
Thank you so much for joining me. It's so wonderful for me to feel this connection with you. Most of you I know. There are a couple of you whom I don't, but it's wonderful to be with you. Thank you so much. Stay healthy, keep safe, and God bless. Bye, everyone. Love to all. Bye.